What's up everybody? So it's been a few days since I posted an actual video blog. Uh, Sebastian and I have been out filming some ice fishing challenges. I just posted the first one so let me know what you think about that. Uh, second one's on the way. We've already filmed it. Um, if you guys like seeing the challenges let me know. Give us some ideas. We're gonna keep going uh, between our two channels. So mine and uh, his Seabass Outdoors. And uh, we're going to keep doing challenges all through the winter, through the summer. Um, if you guys have ideas for challenges you want to see, let us know. Uh, if you have ideas for more punishments you want to see, let us know. Uh, <clears throat> we'll keep going with them. I've had some fun filming them. Uh, it kind of keeps it interesting. I love fishing. Uh, I love the competition. And having these little challenges kind of keeps it entertaining for both of us. So we're going to keep going with that. Um, Right now I've got a late start, it's 9.30. I'm gonna head out to the bay again. We had another cold night. Um, wife and I went out for dinner last night and had steak and crab legs and all kinds of stuff like that. And I hibernated like a bear when I was done. So late start today, but I'm heading out. And uh, I think today I'm gonna target both lake trout and whitefish. Um, it's been a lot of whiteys moving through the area. We're fishing. I normally prefer lake trout, but they've been kind of scarce, uh, so I'll definitely target the whitefish. I'll keep a high line up uh, and hopefully pick off a nice lake or two. And yeah, we'll see you out there. So I'm going to move because this just rocked right through my hole. That's sketchy. Yeah, if you don't mind. I set the hook and missed them, and then my line never came out. <laughs> <laughs> juice pack. Heavy, but not pulling. That other line came up, or he'd be in it. Oh, oh that's why. <laughs> What's that? The unfell. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a big, big trip. That's a whitey. Right in the back. Not even the stomach. It's the back. How does that happen? <laughs> There's a bunch on the screen too. Yeah. Couple 
couple minutes after I just foul hooked that one and lost it. Another whitey here. He's got me in my other line, so it's going to be a mess. Just open the bale on the other one and I'll clean up the mess after. That's all I can really do. I left my pliers at home. off this lure. I'll make it far simpler to deal with. What's the disadvantage to fishing with two lines by yourself? Luckily Mike was here for the first one to get my line out of the way. This one here I'm stuck dealing with this. I swear to God, I just got bit on my swim bait while I was doing this. All right guys, so after that fish there, um, I was untangling from the second line. I had a swim bait hanging about 50 feet up. And I felt kind of a pull on it. And I looked up, and you could see on the graph there was actually a fish that had come up right to the bait when that happened and gone back down. So something came up and bit it. It wasn't a big bite. It felt like a whitefish, definitely not a lake trout. Um, if the whiteys are coming up and chasing, they're not gonna be able to eat the swim bait. I'm not gonna be able to hook them. So I've gone to a tube here. Um, I can get lake trout and whitefish on the tube, but I've added a stinger on the inside uh, for the whitefish to just kind of peck at it. So that's what I'm gonna use as my high bait for now, for that reason. So I can kind of capitalize on both bites, lake trout and whitefish. I really died where I was back there. I just made a move about 300 yards, um, a little deeper water different contour see if there's some fish running this area right now Lost them on the vibrato. So that fish is weird. I was on the phone. 
but he actually bit up high, not on bottom. Um, they're coming up and looking at the high bait. Just because it's sitting there, it's almost acting like a decoy, bringing them up to look at it. And then I'm trying to pick them off with the, the vibrato. Because they're not able to eat the swim bait. The swim bait's big. They got little tiny mouths. They might peck at it, but they're not really going to do much. Um, really, I have it down to try and catch a lake trout because I'm tired of catching whitefish. Um, I shouldn't say I'm tired of it, but I really want to catch a lake trout. But if the whiteys are in, I'm going to catch them while they're here. That's kind of how I've been doing it. All right, guys, it's about 3.30. I'm just getting off the lake now, heading home. Uh, tough day again. We, uh, I got into a few whitefish, caught a couple, lost a couple. Um, I ended up making a move towards the end of the day. I moved from deeper water up shallow, thinking I could get into more whiteys there. And that was a mistake. It was just a waste of time. There wasn't really anything kicking around. Uh, the one thing that's kind of frustrating me right now is I'm really not seeing lake trout at all. I've been out, I think, six times into the deep water, and uh, I've lost one lake trout at the hole. That's it. Um, at this point right now, we should really at least be hearing about multiple people getting into good numbers, double-digit numbers of lake trout, and I'm not hearing it. Um, everyone I talk to, and I've got a good network of people on the lake, you know, guys are plucking off one here, one there, um, really not big numbers. We fished the South Shore Camp, the North Shore Camp in multiple locations. Um, you know, the North End of Simcoe and the Lakers just are not showing themselves. So, I mean, they've got to be out in mid-lake right now just chasing herring. Um, or they're glued to the bottom and we're really not seeing them. My one buddy got a six or seven pounder today right on bottom on a jig and wrap. Um, but the numbers are just not in right now. So. I really want to get out to the main lake, but Mother Nature has other plans for us. Uh, Long-term forecast is very mild. Um, you know, this ice is going to deteriorate in Kempenfeld. It's not going to get any better for a while, so might be forced to look elsewhere for a little bit. I got five days left of my vacation. Uh, I'd like to get out here once or twice more. I'm going to take tomorrow off and spend the day with my boy. Um, Wednesday, I might get back out. I'm not entirely sure. But for now, uh, check out the challenge that I posted yesterday between Seabass Outdoors and myself. Uh, we did a second challenge that he'll be dropping in the next couple days. And I just fil finished filming my top five whitefish baits uh, that'll be up pretty shortly. Um, and that should hopefully hold off till I can get out and get the next blog going. Uh, if you have theories about the lake trout, uh, if you have questions, comments, suggestions, uh, Put them in the comment box. Check out some of these videos that I'm popping up here. And uh, as usual, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you soon.